With SpaceX, Elon Musk has made some giant strides when it comes to space travel and it seems like the entrepreneur's dreams of colonizing Mars are going to come true pretty soon because SpaceX is all set to initiate space travel like never before with their legendary Starship. In fact, Musk has even given us a date. He believes that his company will help humans land on Mars no later than 2026, which is just six years from now. But how exactly will the spaceship land on Mars? Let's find out. For those of you who don't know, the Starship is Elon Musk's brainchild that's guaranteed to change the course of space travel forever. Ever since SpaceX was founded in 2002, Musk has wanted his technology to not only take over the world, but also space itself. Today, SpaceX performs routine missions to space with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles for a diverse set of customers, including the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA the Department of Defense, international governments, and leading commercial companies. So where does the Starship come in? Well, the Starship is SpaceX's completely reusable transportation system that's designed to service the company's Earth orbit needs, as well as make routine trips to Mars and even the Moon. According to initial prototypes, the Starship is made up of a super-heavy rocket along with the spacecraft. The rocket is expected to be powered using a combination of oxygen and subcool methane to make sure that it offers a sustainable way to travel back and forth from space. Together, the Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket create a reusable transportation system capable of orbit refueling and leveraging Mars's natural H2O and CO2 resources to refuel on the surface of Mars. When it comes to capacity, the Starship is pretty huge. It's designed to carry cargo, satellites, payloads and crew to a bunch of different orbits using the Earth, Moon and Mars as landing sites. However, to accomplish all of these goals, SpaceX has strategically partnered up with NASA to make sure that the Starship becomes the most advanced space lander in history and the first fully reusable one. In fact, NASA believes that they might be able to send two astronauts to the Moon as early as 2024 with one of of the early models of the Starship. The truth is that Musk plans to use the Moon as a stepping stone for the Starship to expand its travel into the rest of space, specifically Mars. In addition to carrying astronauts to the Moon, Musk has said that he plans to build a thousand Starships in order to fly people and cargo to Mars and establish a settlement there. Ideally, the Starship would be able to carry 100 people to Mars, which will pave the way for Musk to normalize interplanetary travel. Starship will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, with the ability to carry in excess of 100 metric tons to Earth orbit. Drawing on an extensive history of launch vehicle and engine development programs, SpaceX has been rapidly iterating on the design of Starship to reach its targeted time of launching humans into space. As far as the process goes, while it's still in its testing phases, this is how Musk plans for the Starship to go to Mars. The first step will be for the Starship to be launched using its super heavy booster. However, hey is the fun part. The booster will actually return back to Earth, separating from the rocket once it is launched. The next step will be for the Starship to enter the Earth's orbit and at the same time, a refilling tanker will be launched to meet with the Starship in this very orbit. The tanker ship will then dock with the rocket, refill it, and then return back to Earth. Once the Starship has been fully refueled, it's now ready to make its way to Mars. The rocket will then begin its journey around the Earth's orbit, around the Sun, going all the way to Mars. When the ship lands on Mars, it will be refilled again using the planet's local resources of H2O and CO2. And once the ship is refueled up again, it will be ready to make its way back to Earth. Sounds pretty efficient, right? According to SpaceX, Starship will enter Mars' atmosphere at 7.5 km per second and decelerate aerodynamically. The vehicle's heat shield is designed to withstand multiple entries, but given that the vehicle is coming into Mars' atmosphere so hot, so you can still expect to see some ablation of the heat shield. And if you're wondering what the point of all that refilling is, refilling on orbit enables the transport of up to 100 tons all the way to Mars. And if the tanker ship has high reuse capability, the primary cost is that of the propellant, and the cost of oxygen and methane is extremely low. It's an efficient and sustainable way to make space travel easier than ever before. But why is it so important for us to find an easy and cheap method of space travel? Before we tell you that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed so far. 
And the entire point of interplanetary transport, at least for Musk, is to build entire cities on planets like Mars, which is exactly why NASA has gotten itself involved in the functioning of the Starship as well. Without a proper mechanism to carry cargo and people all the way to a different planet, none of this can be possible, and that's exactly where the Starship comes in. Building cities on Mars will require affordable delivery of significant quantities of cargo and people. The fully reusable Starship system uses in-space propellant transfer to achieve this and carry people on long-duration interplanetary flights. The rocket is also designed to deliver satellites further and at a lower marginal cost per launch than our current Falcon vehicles. With a payload compartment larger than any fairing currently in operation or development, Starship creates possibilities for new missions, including space telescopes even larger than the James Webb. With all of that said, the key to the success of the Starship is constant test flights, which will help SpaceX understand exactly what they need to fix before the vessel is ready to be launched into space. Especially now that three of SpaceX's most recent reusable Starship prototypes have ended despite these drawbacks, CEO Elon Musk is highly confident in this technology's ability to completely revolutionise the way we perceive space. And with all that the Starship has promised, it's pretty evident that no other rocket is coming quite close to the level of sustainability and reliability that SpaceX is planning to offer. Whether humans actually will be able to land on Mars in the next six years, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But if things go according to Musk's plan, we'll probably be jetting off to Mars, spending our weekends there in no time.